Ken, thanks so much for talking to us. So the fact that the film was set in uh, Oklahoma, um, I'm just wondering, I mean, that was obviously a very specific choice from the start of the project, yeah? Not at all, actually. Oh. It, <laughs> it's pure and utter uh, chance that we ended up in Oklahoma. What happened was, we were looking to create this film around the structure of a radio show. So I literally went onto YouTube and okay. put in small, because I wanted it to be small town yeah. radio show. I put in small town radio show host, middle America or whatever, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and out popped all these different characters that have little shows. In America, it's a big thing to just film your show and put it up online, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So I came across Joe Cristiano, who is the gentleman that's in the film, the features in the film, and he was literally the first person, very first person. He had six views on this particular uh, moment YouTube, or this, yeah, 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 this show. And I listened to him and I was just enthralled by him because he's a great character. Now yeah. he's a libertarian politician. So his show was just full about, uh, full of rants about the current government and yeah. problems and so on. So he, but he was making me laugh yeah. and I was engaged. I watched it all. I watched 30 minutes of it. So uh, I gave up, put that to one side, put him on my note book as one of the potentials. Went through, and I think we spent about six weeks looking <laughs> through YouTube yeah, yeah. for myself and a colleague. And then we went through a short list, rang Joe, and yeah. Joe, I don't know if you, yeah, when, he's quintessentially American. Oh, he's yeah. this uh, New Yorker, real Woody Allen type yeah, of yeah. character. And I was talking to him in the context of, I thought, I presumed he was in New York. And then he said, uh, by the way, Ken, I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I was like, ah, oh, interesting. And how did you end up there? He'd fallen in love and moved there 30 years ago. Of course, hadn't lost his whole New Yorker kind of thing. Yeah. And that then got me intrigued about Oklahoma. We did a bit of research and we discovered that it had been recently voted on one of these random magazine polls as the manly estate in America. And I thought, oh, Eureka, this could be interesting. Yeah. Okay, it has this. So now we have a radio show host, potentially. We have this uh, idea that it's the manly estate in America, which would be a really tie, a lovely tie-in at the beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. To say, let's, and we had Mother's Day coming up, and I thought, okay, now I can construct the radio show around these kind of concepts. Mm. But essentially, I wanted to explore relationships that men have with their mothers. With their mothers, yeah. 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 In terms of the actual interviews themselves, because, I mean, you're saying that, like, it's done, you wanted to do it like a radio show, and I'm just wondering, I mean, you know, the interviews themselves, because, I mean, they're talking on the phone and obviously it's you pitching the question to them and they're just talking. Oh, that was really done that way, was it? Yeah. I oh. mean, Joe does interview them. We did. Uh, what happens is the radio show host, it is not exactly a phone in because we only have one camera. Sure. But what happened was we would, on a given hour, the character would ring into the radio show and it would like, okay, hey, Joe, whatever, I've been listening to your show because I would have played them the intro to the show. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. it was very much Joe. Now, there were moments where um, Joe would go off subject and we would, you know, and he would not, he wouldn't catch on to something that had me interested yeah, as yeah, the yeah, filmmaker. Yeah. So we would hang up and then I would go out to my car into the air conditioning because Oklahoma during the summer oh, is yeah, not yeah. somewhere you want to be on a, on a mobile phone outside. So I'd sit in the car and I'd ring them back and we would have a discussion and carry on where Joe had left off. Yeah. But no, it was always done over the telephone. And I mean, did they find that? I mean, it's just because, I mean, they're so revealing the interviews, like, you know, that kind of way. I mean, obviously they were aware that, like, this was going to be shown to everyone. I mean, how did they, how did they find it, like? Well, okay, first and foremost, because we were in Oklahoma, we were complete outsiders. So yeah. it was Irish people going in there. I think for many of these men, it was an opportunity to discuss some, some kind of raw experiences that they had yeah. in the relationships. Yeah. Like these are the more, what would you say, the more um, fraught relationships. Yeah. There are all sorts of relationships in this film. Yeah. And uh, so I think some of them decided to do this project potentially as a cathartic experience. Yeah. Uh, but we were... Outsiders. We were Irish people. They none of them, like the vast majority of these men, had not met Irish people. Yeah. They didn't know that we had a film industry. They didn't yeah. know we'd RT and yeah, TV3 yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's totally alien. Yeah. So I think that gave us a little bit of freedom. You know, in the sense that they didn't. You know, it wasn't automatically going to appear on CNBC or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of uh, freedom from their perspective, as in, you know, who's going to see this potentially. So I think they allowed themselves maybe to to let their cards down. 
content. But as a filmmaker, that's what you are trying to do. Ones, yeah. yeah. And also, like, ultimately, people who are on camera, um, you know, one, uh, like, it's it's so much better for them to be honest and upfront. Yeah. And, and they'll get more respect for, from it and, f- from, and they'll get more from the experience rather yeah. than putting on that facade. What I was worried about, of course, was that everybody would put on a telephone accent. So we know, yeah. you know what I mean, you answer the phone, you're all... Yeah, prim and proper yeah, yeah. And, and so on but you know suddenly people when you start to talk about intimate experiences and you push and you engage with them on a level that is is respectful and that is interested then things happen and i think that's how we got such revealing and honest answers from a lot of these men yeah in terms of you know the edit and stuff like that, I mean, like how much footage were you dealing with? I mean, how did you craft a story around it? I mean, was it done in the interviews or how did it work? Well, there was a lot of footage. Like most documentaries, you yeah. end up with quite a lot of footage. Um, we had, I think, we filmed with about twenty characters. Yeah. So eighteen people are in the final film, and some film, uh, some. Uh, re- People, relationships, mum and sons feature more than others. We have, uh, but oh, I don't know. I suppose we had a ratio of about eight to one. Really? Yeah, yeah which is average. That's about right. Yeah, yeah, for our doc. Yeah. You know, we weren't, we weren't, we didn't overdo it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas previously I was working on film and like you have such a small. Oh, yeah, ratio. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But here I'd, I had a lot of fun and games in the edit. I was you know, going to say, yeah. yeah. It was a complicated process. Yeah. But the structure was something that I had from the beginning in my mind. But of course, I deviated a bit. Yeah. So I got off to a bit of a false start because I was trying to make something that I wasn't. Yeah. And then I reverted to where I, I well, what I tried to create in the beginning. So, like yeah. a radio show kind of thing. Like, is oh, yeah, like, totally, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah At one right. stage, I tried to do it without the radio show. But, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. How did it work? It didn't. Didn't That's, well, yeah, I suppose, <laughs> that's yeah, why, yeah. You're, yeah, yeah. why you're seeing this version. Okay. Um, I and mean, final question what are you working on next? Oh, I'm working on a film about the piano lesson and the grading system. So I'm starting it with an absolute beginner going all the way through to uh, hopefully a concert pianist. Cool. Yeah, so it's a little bit different. Uh, it probably has less of that emotional journey, mm. but I think it's full of of uh, interesting characters. Uh, it's obviously, uh, what would you say, a... Compelling in the sense that you see this progression from an absolute beginner all yeah. the way through to all the way through. yeah yeah it's, oh, it's it. yeah I'm really enjoying it I'm yeah. right in the middle of it right in the middle of it okay yeah. we'll let you get back to it Ken Morjoff thanks Mill thanks Brian.